What's up, guys? Back at it, round two, Monday night, after work, workout. Did some uh, dumbbell chest flies. Worked on some back pressure. And uh, finished off with some down pressure. Curls, so, yeah, double session today, feeling great. Um... You know, I love starting Mondays off with a, a great workout. I mean, it's just um, the way I like to start every day, but especially on Mondays because I feel like Monday is always a big challenge for everyone. The Monday blues, people are tired, you know, and, um, you know, I like to crush Monday. I like to start my, my week off with a big W. And just crush that day. And then the rest of the week just falls into play, place, I should say. You know, and um, <clears throat> it's just uh, all about perspective. You know, when you can change your perspective and you can, you know, realize that, man, I have all the answers I need inside of me to fix every problem that I'm facing. You know, um, some people are struggling and they, um, they bitch and complain about it and it sucks, man. And I know that feeling because when, when I was going through rough times, when I was young, um, I would, you know, always look for people to feel sorry for me, you know, and, uh, I try to validate, you know, um, my victimhood onto, you know, other people that, you know, some people have a lot of compassion, you know, and, but, I, you know, you uh, p- compassion aside, you know, as a man, when you're struggling and you're out there complaining and not finding the solution, you know, I feel like you're already facing the problem, um, with a negative mindset, you know, we have to face problems with a positive mindset. We have to face our problems with solutions, you know, not right away. We might not always find that solution, but we need to evaluate every situation in life. And if it's just, you know, adjusting your attitude um, at work or um, at the gym, wherever, you know, around your family, whatever it is, you know, we can become our best self when we change our perspective, you know, and we just have a different outlook on life. You know, when you can understand that life happens for me, no matter what life happens for us, And when you can check your feelings and you can just go and surrender to the flow of life, it's amazing, man, how much inner peace you have and how much energy you're able to attribute to other aspects of your life, man, because you're not fucking victimizing yourself and you're realizing that, you know, this is what's supposed to happen today. Instead of crying and complaining and sounding like a bitch, you need to face that problem head on. Think about it. Come up with a game plan. It's just like anything in life, man. When you want to lose weight, you can't just wing it, you know. I get a lot of people sometimes, you know, they'll ask me for diet advice and they won't even be able to dictate what they ate, you know. So it's like when you are looking to lose weight, it's like building an engine. You're going to have a game plan. There's going to be some directions, you know, and, um, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's, just, it's just crazy to me when people don't take that stuff seriously. You know, it's like a job. We have to take the guesswork out of whatever we want to achieve, whatever our goals are. We want to focus, write them down, have a game plan, and, um, you know, in line your actions with what you want to achieve each day. 
And don't go at it with this negative mindset like, oh, fuck, it's Monday. I got to do chest or, oh, shit, I got to do legs or, oh, fuck, I don't think I can make it to the arm wrestling practice because I'm too tired. Whatever the excuse in your head is, whatever that narrative, the story that your mind is trying to sell you, flip that shit and just get into action right away. You know, don't even think about it. Just fucking do the things you set out to do each day. And that's crush a workout, crush some good food, get into some self-reflection, you know. You know, today, man, <clears throat> being Monday, you know, I, f- I felt like um, on top of the world, man. Um, you know, it was just an amazing day. Um, I just feel like every moment... I get to experience life. I'm just so grateful for. And this whole journey, man, it's just amazing to me. You know, I share this, um, you know, stuff with you guys. Just, um, you know, because if you're out there struggling, you know, there's a way out, man. You know, once I got out of my own way, I started to be able to live my life. Unfortunately, I didn't really take those steps till I was 44 years old. So for the, all those years, I lived as a victim. And, uh, you know, I lived this life of regret for so many years. And now I'm just able to see the big picture in life. And I realized that every day, it's me versus me. That's the battle. That's the war I go to every day. And my goal each day is to be better, to be my best self, to conduct myself in a manner that I admire and don't break character and just continue on serving others and, you know, be that bright light, man. Be that encouragement. When someone's feeling down or, you know, someone needs to be like lifted up a little bit, whatever it is, man, a smile, you know, just a thought, just a kind word. A gesture, you know, not a judgmental, um, you know, not being judgmental or not being um, critical, just being uplifting, you know, listening. Sometimes, some, sometimes people just need a, a, you know, a kind ear to listen, you know, have someone listen, you know. And that's one thing I've been really working on is becoming more of an active listener. You know, we have two ears, one mouth, you know, and I'm learning that I should be listening twice as much as I should, you know, as I'm speaking. So, but anyway, guys, hope you're having a great one. Happy Monday. Wake up tomorrow and kill it, man. Think of all the great things that are going to happen and all these new situations that could arise and just be grateful for this journey that we call life and have a great one guys